since today I'm definitely considering being an architectural engineer. The 7th and 8th graders at St. Kevin's have the opportunity to really see where their science, technology, engineering and math lessons can lead. They're hearing from a professional who's working for the international company that's designed some of the largest buildings in the world. We do everything from uh, new stadiums like the new Yankee Stadium and currently we're working on the world's tallest building. We're known for like the toughest problems and coming up with great solutions. Michael Murphy is encouraging the next generation to solve tomorrow's problems using the subjects that they are learning today. Science, technology, engineering, and math. The acronym for these essential disciplines is STEM, and St. Kevin's hosted the presentation to make sure the kids are career-minded as they take these classes. I think uh, a lot of times, you know, studying whether it's math or science, you don't always know the applications of it. It just seems like a lot of homework and math problems after a while. But to see that there are tangible things that are done, whether it's a building or a bridge, and that you can experience that, I think really shows them that there are ways that they can impact the future world. I thought that it was really interesting because I always wanted to go to the medical field and now I kind of look like I want to go towards um, structural engineering. Well, science would help with learning about different materials and the way that they work and math could help with different amounts of ge geometry. Well, with the math, you could learn to build the bridges, you learn the measurements, how they could help you out. Down the hall, the sixth graders put their skills to the test, recreating some of the iconic structures that graced New York's World's Fair 50 years ago. It's the U.S. Royal Ferris wheel. This is the pavilion and the towers from the World's Fair. How long is this taking you? Uh, a week, a while. A couple yeah. weeks. Anywhere from when you go to see Michael stresses that technology is a tool that is making the impossible possible. The principal at the school, Dr. Thomas Piero, wants to make sure that the students are fluent in this rapidly changing field. This year, the students in grades 5 through 8 all have their own Chromebooks. We've transitioned from a computer room to a computer school. We want them to be able to integrate technology into every subject area, math, social studies, language arts. To these kids, being prepared for the world is not simply about getting a good job. It's about reaching the stars. There's no telling what you're going to do, but you can always try to achieve your goals and try your hardest. And don't make your limits your goals. Make your goals past your limits. I would like to change the world. How to help the world. Michael gave many tips to the students about how to use their lessons to the fullest and apply them to the real world. Maybe the plan for New York's next great building will come from one of these very classrooms. For Currents from Flushing, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.